Look at this mess everywhere. Can you guess what I have been setting up? Today is one of those days where I have got boxes and packaging everywhere. I've been setting up a new product and it's sitting just behind me here in the studio. So this is it. This is the Cube Pro Duo from 3D Systems. Big, big thank you to them for sending this out for me to review. And this is a two color. 3D printer. So similar in sort of build size specifications to the Ultimaker 2, but this one does two colors at the same time. And I'll give you a little brief tour. I'm probably not going to be able to completely set this up today and show you it printing. If I do, then I'll give you an update a little bit later on. But this is like an enclosed cabinet, so a lot bigger. Let me just step back so you can see the overall size. Look, compared to the chair, very, very big unit. And then on the front, I haven't even got power to this yet, but I was so excited to show you this. We've got this front door and we open the door. And what's nice about this is it's got sort of, sort of acoustic foam around the door, so it's gonna stop some of the noise. Really nice, big, large build plate in there. And as I say, roughly the same build size, maybe a little bit bigger than the Ultimaker 2, but it's got two uh, dual extruders at the top, so two extrusion nozzles. And let me just open up the top, if I can just do this one-handed. Actually, yeah, can I do it one-handed? There we go. So this top panel comes off, so you can actually get a good look inside. And there's also a Perspex panel at the back, which I believe comes off, I'm pretty sure it does, so you can get access for maintenance. And this is what it looks like top down. I posted a picture of this on my Instagram a little bit earlier, and you can see all of the sort of inner workings of the machine. Look, this is all of the circuitry and all of the connections on the print heads. And you put the cartridges inside, so you put the filament cartridge, one in there, and one down there. And it's sort of like a self-feeding system. So you can't use any PLA or ABS filament on this. You have to actually use the uh, particular cartridges for this model, and I haven't installed them yet. And let's just take one more look inside. That's what it looks like from the front. Very, very cool looking piece of equipment. And I'm just super excited to actually test this out and try it uh, more for my 3D printing sort of geek out time, I just uh, really getting into it. It's so, so interesting. And I'll share you my experiences with the Cube Pro Duo as well on the channel over the coming weeks. And as I say, if I manage to get this up and running and printing today, you might see it printing in today's video. Now, as I say, it's only if I've got time that you'll see that printing today. I'm super busy, I've still got editing to do. I've got two client videos to finish for today. But if I do get time, you will see. If not, it'll be over the next few days. So stay tuned for that. Now, a little bit of an update for you as well. The BlackBerry Z10, which I showed you yesterday. This is the box, this is the BlackBerry Z10. Very, very nice piece of hardware. Really like the hardware and like the sort of UI and the user experience. But there is a problem with it. I'm not having much luck lately with my tech purchases. I had a problem, as you know, with the Microsoft Surface Pro, and this works fine. The, the actual sort of hardware is fine, the software and everything, but there must be something wrong with the pins or the SIM card reader on here, because this is a SIM-free unlocked Z10, and I've tried three or four different SIM cards from different networks, and it will not read any of them. So alas, I'm a little bit disappointed because I was so, so looking forward to sharing my experience with the Z10 with you, but as it stands, I've emailed them. This was a purchase direct from BlackBerry UK. Their orders are fulfilled by a different company though, and there's no phone number to call them to get a quick sort of swap out. So I've had to email them and I'm now in a queue. It just didn't even give me an indication as to how long it would be before they reply. It just said emails are answered in the order they are received. Is that one day? Is that two days? Is that two weeks? I have got no idea, so I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that they respond nice and fast and sort me out another Z10. Okay, so we are finally up and running, and it's actually printing a calibration print, but it's been such an awful experience to get this up and running, it really has, because the instructions say don't calibrate, and then further on in the instructions, it says print a calibration file. So what are you meant to do? Calibrate or not? Uh. 
So this is what I've been left with and now I have to work out from the instructions what that all means. Crazy! So in comparison to what I experienced with the Ultimaker 2, the Ultimaker 2 was just so so easy. You leveled the sort of the print bed and then you were ready to, to print. There was nothing more to do than that. And I don't know, perhaps it's a combination of me being sort of tired and having to read through instructions. But the system should guide me through step by step and it's so confusing. And I'm technical, I'm very capable of reading the instructions and following them. The other thing that sort of put me off as well, not put me off the product, but has sort of disgruntled me, is the fact that I wanted PLA uh, filament to go in here because it produces less of uh, an odour and we've got ABS so it's a bit smelly in here as well but still I'll continue experimenting get this calibrated and then as I say hopefully show you a first print. So it is now late afternoon and I've had a run of really bad luck with technology lately first of all as you know the BlackBerry Z10 is going back because it won't read any of my sim cards then the Cube Pro Duo printer working fine but I wanted to do a sample print to show you today all of the files that I've got on the memory stick need converting and I went to the website to download the Mac version of the software there's no Mac version there, it just says Windows only I've been assured previously prior to the printer being dispatched that there is Mac support there so I'm hoping that they will be able to send me a link to a download sometime this evening or tomorrow and I will bring you a sample print from the Cube Pro Duo printer very very soon and then to top things all off, if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, please do, it's just Geekanoids everywhere. Just search Geekanoids in Google and it'll come up with my Instagram. But anyway, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of a brand new iPhone 3GS. Alas, it wouldn't work. <laughs> it was getting a flashing screen, just the Apple logo coming on and off. So I knew what to do, I put it into recovery mode, attached it to iTunes, did a restore, but it wouldn't restore. It was either coming up with an error 1002 or an error 2001, either one of those combinations. And I'm so busy. I don't have time to then troubleshoot that any further. And this is only for demonstration purposes anyway. That's all I purchased it for. And maybe I should have gone for a second hand one instead of a brand new one. You know, it doesn't matter if it's got a few little marks on it after all. Probably saved me some money as well. So I'm returning that for a refund and then I'll have another search and buy a second hand one somewhere. But I really want to just get in some of the older devices. So if any of you know of anywhere I can pick up this sort of device, like iPhone first generation, 3G, 3GS. I've already got an iPhone 4. I've got an iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPhone 5S. So I've got all of those covered. Uh, and I'm also looking for things like old iPods, iPod photos, iPod classics, iPod touches. So if you know anywhere, you can get that sort of thing, please do leave the details in the comment section or get in touch with me via Twitter. So that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all had a fantastic day. I'll see you all again in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geek Noise channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.